anyone who has spent some time learning or playing jazz knows that it's all about two five ones. Any jazz teacher or YouTube channel will continuously emphasize the need to practice two five ones, and for good reason. Two five one chord progressions are very, very common in a lot of jazz standards. So if you know how to play two five ones comfortably, learning a brand new jazz song will be considerably easier. But how should you practice them? Well, very often you'll hear people say that you should practice them in every key. Great, but that doesn't answer the question. Again, how should you practice playing two five ones? So to answer that question, I have written out a series of two five one exercises a cool 31 pages long. And you'll find the link to it in the description. Now I have called this the ultimate 251 exercise guide because firstly it's 31 bloody pages long and secondly because it covers all the different variations of the 251 exercise that I think one needs to practice. So grab the sheet music and I'll take you through it now. So our objective in playing these exercises is to learn to play a chord progression that is commonly found in jazz standards and learn to play it in every key. So firstly, we talk about playing two five ones as if it's a single chord progression. Actually, there are numerous different two five one based chord progressions that you should learn and practice. You should know how to play non-resolving two fives like D minor seven to G seven, resolving two five ones, like D minor seven to G seven to C major seven, non-resolving minor two fives, like D half diminished to G seven, and resolving minor two five ones, like D half diminished to G seven to C minor seven. All of these sort of fragment mini chord progressions are often chained together and found in a huge number of jazz standards, so you should learn how to play and chain these little chord progressions up together, one after the other. We also want to practice playing chords with both hands. And a good way to do this is when you're playing the chords in your right hand, for your left hand to play a walking bass line. Or when you're playing your chords in your left hand, for your right hand to play a relatively simple improvisation using melodic continuity. So that is using swung eighth notes all the way through without stopping. So this way, as well as learning the actual chords in both hands, we're also applying and learning other commonly used techniques that are found in jazz. Because very often in a song, if you're comping for someone, for example, you'll find that you need to play a walking bass line with the chords in your right hand, so why not practice it that way as well? Now, as I mentioned earlier, we want to chain these 2-5 or 2-5-1 progressions into a longer exercise, because this is what's actually found in songs. In actual jazz songs, in jazz standards, you'll very often find just chained 2-5 or 2-5-1 chord progressions. So you just go 2-5, 2-5, 2-5, 2-5, or 2-5-1, 2-5-1, 2-5-1, 2-5-1, 2-5-1, in different keys. So our exercise should do exactly that. We should chain our 2-5 or 2-5-1 chord progressions into a long exercise that ideally covers all 12 keys. Now, while songs can modulate from any key to any other key, the most common modulations are down a tone or a whole step, so a 2-5-1 in G followed by a 2-5-1 in F, down a semitone, so a 2-5-1 in G followed by a 2-5-1 in G flat, or down a perfect fifth, so a 2-5-1 in G followed by a 2-5-1 in C. And finally, while you want to start playing with just plain old seventh chords, Ideally, we want to practice using all different kinds of voicings, so rootless voicings, quartal voicings, open voicings, right, etc. All of them. All the ones you can think of, all the ones you know. So we want to take all of these ideas and iterate between them so that we play every single possible combination and permutation of these possible 251 exercises. And that's exactly what I've written out in the sheet music in the description. 
So for example, we could play two fives that modulate down a tone using seventh chords with the chords in our right hand. Or we could play a series of minor two fives that modulate down a semitone using seventh chords with the chords in our left hand. Or we could play a series of two five ones which modulate down a perfect fifth using rootless voicings um, with the chords in our right hand. So in the sheet music, I've written out all of these possible combinations of 251 exercises so that you can take them, play them, and learn them. Now I've written out all 12 keys for exercises that just use plain seventh chords, and I've just given extracts or examples of a few other chord voicings, like rootless and open voicings. But I haven't written these out in full because Frankly, that would be an enormous undertaking. It wouldn't be a 30-page doc, it would be a 3,000-page document. And, and honestly, just the 30-page document took me long enough to create and write out. But hopefully, you'll get the hang of it yourself and be able to apply these different voicings yourself to the same exercises. Right, you're going to be using the same chords, just a different voicing of those chords, so the, the exercises that are fully written out are still relevant. You're still going to play them in the same order, using the same series of chords, just again with a different voicing. And really, even if you just learn and get comfortable playing the seventh chord version, even that will be a huge benefit to you. Now, because jazz songs tend to be written in flat keys rather than sharp keys, I've tried to do the same in my sheet music 251 exercise write-up. So essentially I'm saying that you'll more often see a song in the key of D flat major than C sharp major. And you can blame the trumpeters for that. Now there's also one bonus exercise right at the end of the sheet music that demonstrates another very widely used modulation which is a major 251 going to the relative minor 251. So enjoy that one too. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. So grab the sheet music and good luck.